Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another project here. So I am now a pen pal with, I hope I said Vanzetta um, 2, see Vanzetta 2 Crafts here on um, YT. Now make sure I link her um, channel below and I apologize if I um, pronounced that wrong. I'm going to have to look at it again. But her name is Vanessa. <laughs> so she had requested some um, crafty pen pals and so I we exchanged some text messages, and so now we are crafty pen pals, and we're going to be creating something for each other uh, once a month. And so this is um, what I have created for her. This is my first one. So let me show you what I did here. So I used the tutorial by um, Paper Phenomenon, Phenomenon, I guess how you pronounce it, by Kathy Order, and it was a travel tale. And I'll make sure to um, put the link to her video in the description below. Also, I just um, it also so it's like a suitcase. But you can put a, um, of course, a mini album inside of it. I did not do the mini album. I just did the suitcase part of it. And this is a paper pad that I used. And I got this from Tuesday morning for um, six ninety nine. It's a Heidi Swap. So got this like a couple of weeks ago. And ta da! <laughs> it's my favorite word. <laughs> this is the um, suitcase. So you can see here it has some um the buckles, a pocket here on the front. I get some um I think they call them D rings. Some um those brats. The side. I really like this paper. I think it is just so cute and girly, and that's the bottom of it. Now this is my first time actually doing this particular tutorial, so I'll probably make some changes next time, and this is the back. See the front of it, the top here. See I have some more D rings and it has the handle. And then um, I'll show you the closure here in a minute. So let's just go through what I have here in the front. So in the pocket, I have um, I purchased her some um, some frames and I just decorated a little bit. It says fabulous, and you can see I put some of the paper up there and some bling on the side to stick in that pocket. This is the letter that I created. So this is the envelope and it says sending happy mail. Put a little bling in there. This is a die cut. This is also a die cut with some bling in the flower. And then this is just a little <laughs> envelope. And on the back, I stamped Happy Thoughts in a little heart. So I left it open right here in the top just so that could stick down there a little you know, dimension. So it opens up. And I really liked this paper. So I um, didn't do anything to the front of it. And that's it. And then, of course, I just wrote her a little letter. Some little words in there. A little bit of something. And that's going to be right down in here with her card. I'll probably put some um, ATC right there just to stick it down. And I guess i got to put that little diamond back too now. Let me sit that to the side so I don't forget. So that's it. And so then for the closure, like I was saying earlier, I, I was trying to figure out how to um, close this. Now, Kathy used something else and she had did some antique, um, I think, finish or something, but it didn't quite work for me. So I went and got this um, buckle and they just said I just put the paper on the side of it and it just opens... I can get it just like that. Turn it around while it closes back. And there you go. So this is how it opens up. And then, of course, I put paper on the inside. So I wasn't for sure what to do as far as this first um, swap that we did. So I just did a little bit of something in here. So I made these. I have a die that I just got from Tuesday morning. I made these little um, bags. And these are some rub ones that I had, so I want to try those out. So I made just some little, and this is how they look on the front. So I did those. And these are some um, Stampin' Up rub ones. Got tons of them. And then I just left two blanks just in case she wanted to put something on there. I got some um, cupcake stamps, and then I decorated the top. And it's a little color, um, gorgeous girl that I colored. It's a little sweet treat stamps that I put on some of the paper. And then these are some... Um, Little donuts and cupcakes and stuff. Let me see, I think I got it over here. I blame um Ebony Moore from um Ebony from Sherry Moore <laughs> about these because uh, she's always <laughs> listening on her Instagram about the cottage cuts and when they go fifty percent off. And so these are um some of the cupcakes here and I think this is a donut and also this one right here. And these are just my some um dyes that I got in from cottage. And I'm probably just Cottage cuts, that's what it's called. And so I just, you know, decorate the top of that, and it's just the back of it. So some cupcakes. 
This here is one of those large um, clothespins, and I just decorated the front. Of course, it doesn't match the paper, but I really like this. Um, I put um, red and white paper on there. Got a water called rose, and as you can see there, it got like a little white ribbon, and it just says dream. And I put some flower bling on there. Just on there. So that way she can put, um, you know, pictures or, you know, depending on what she's working on. Put that in there. This right here is the envelope I created um, from off from her 12 by 12 um, one of the 12 by 12 sheets from about the same paper collection. And on here I um, die cut this out of some of the paper and just stuck it on there. And I'm actually going to put some HEC here to close it off. And this is the die I put believe up there. And this is just plain on the back. And inside of here I gifted her. Of course, it's kind of tight now. This is handmade. <laughs> Yeah, material stuff. And I just got, I went to two that morning they had these on sale. So I bought two of them. I bought her one. I bought myself one. And that's it right there. So, she can make something nice with that. Get her some, um, some tape. And then once again, I put up here, this is a die cut, some more of the paper. And it say just because. Right there. And then, um, a little while ago I went to, um, a pack of tins and they had their when they had the Valentine stuff on sale and so I got this felt and so I get her get her some of those and this right here is some ribbon that I had and she could take that off and use this for different projects and so then also on one of my Facebook groups we were um <laughs> I'm always into this send me something I could <laughs> try to do something with it so it was in um I can't think of the actual Facebook group but what it was they um the host would send you an envelope of five items and with them five items you would make a card so this is one of the cards that I had made. I think it was spring. So this is some washi tape. And now that I'm looking at it, I think it was supposed to be a pink butterfly on there. But I'm not sure what happened to it. Spring is in the air. And then some like this right here. Some also rubber ones. Those green right there. So that was, uh, and I did a couple of them. So this is another one of the tags that I had done. Let's say hello spring. trying to get this one right here and I think I got two more over here because I'm just a card happy and this is another tag and this is happy Easter and I did this one black and green so I'll probably hang this over something that's that one then also did this one this was like a little basket or something and I got on there have an extra special day and that says um happy Easter So I just wanted to share those with you, the projects I've been working on for the last couple of weeks here. Well, this is <laughs> some of them. Just got a new job, so it's actually going kind of slow. But I just want to stop by and share this before I send it off to my new scrappy, um, well, not scrappy, <laughs> crafty pen pal. Alrighty, I want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose to. Don't forget to go over and check my new um, pen pal out, Vanessa, and I will make sure to link um, that below. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.